Hi guys, Justina here with the blue hair. <laughs> um, this is going to be all. Um, it's go this video is going to be all about my septum piercing. Um, I have some jewelry tryout at the end of the of the video, which I will put the time lapse of. Um, but first, I will tell you something about my septum piercing. I actually pierced it myself. I will insert the video over here. I know it's terrible. You should never pierce yourself. But here's a disclaimer. I am actually piercer in training, which means I would love to become a professional piercer. Unfortunately, during the corona crisis, I wasn't able to kind of finish my study, but I would love to continue it again and I will probably do it in, in maybe a month. So yeah, um, so even though I don't recommend to you to, uh, for you to pierce yourself at home, uh, this is one of the reasons why I won't put a full video, but only a short clip of why I was piercing my, uh, my, my septum because it is really hard it's not painful at all i would say the pain ratio is for me from one to ten it was one but i have that with most of my piercings i don't know i don't i don't find that yeah i don't find that they hurt that much to be honest they are maybe not the most comfortable but i don't think they hurt so uh, this is for the pain ratio and the healing was also pretty good i had no issues with it i just used uh i just soaked my nose in a salt water like daily uh i'm always make my salt water myself i just take a small cup i put like a pinch of salt to it i mix it up and of course i use like warm water not too hot warm water and I just soak my nose like so and it healed perfectly uh, I did every morning and every night I I don't recommend to do it too often as well because it can be really harsh and also don't use too much salt because it can really uh, stain and hurt your nose from the inside so don't do that um, so that healing took yeah after a month I could uh, change my piercing and I pierced myself with a regular only I I lost the balls um, yes I pierced myself with uh, like this typical um, horseshoe bar I'll try to show you like this one I like these two balls at the end and yeah this ring is pretty huge but if you with every piercing even if you go to a professional studio always make sure that uh, pay attention to the bar that they are using or barbells if they are long enough or big enough uh, because your nose or every single place that you will get piercing at will swell up so this is basically for the swelling so even if there may be some gunk and some like with ears you get like this cheese which can like stay a little bit in your piercing so you have to, you won't have like some space for it to basically get out so and also for the swelling otherwise your piercing will never hear correctly and it will hurt like hell and again don't pierce yourself at home just don't do it don't do that because it can really mess up your your piercing or you can pierce it in the wrong spot especially with septum piercing if you have never done it or if your pain tolerance is really low or especially it's so hard to find the sweet spot so i really don't recommend for you to do that at home just go to the studio um the type of materials that i personally love is either titanium gold or uh, sterling steel uh, i believe some people call it surgical steel um, all of them work just fine for me i know that some people can be sensitive for surgical steel um, if you have some issues with that just go with titanium which is a little bit more expensive it's usually like a difference in like one euro to be honest so just go with that 
Um, I know that gold is the best, but to be honest, I don't have budget for gold. I do have some golden earrings, but that's uh, where my budget can get me. It's what I can afford. Um, the piercing that I'm currently wearing is uh, gold plated, but it's made out of titanium. If I would buy a uh, jewelry which is different color, I will always go with titanium. Uh, I don't know how it works. I'm not really a um, professional if it goes for the materials, the metals, uh, etc. But I just know from my own experience that if you buy surgical steel, which is um, like rainbowy or um, like colored, uh, especially with gold, the color can wear off, especially if it's plated. Then with time, it will just remove the gold coating that's around the piercing. So I would just go with titanium because it's usually it's just better, way better quality than um, surgical steel. If I would buy uh, just regular silver ones, I will just go with surgical steel because yeah, it's just cheaper that's why that's the only reason because other than that i don't like per me personally i don't really see a huge of a difference between a uh, surgical steel and titanium especially yeah i i don't my skin is not really prone to any allergies but if you do have it just make sure to change your jewelry if you first of all if your piercing is fresh uh, take care of it. Use salt water. You can also use some type of ointments. Uh, don't have any. But yeah, just use some type of ointment. Don't use alcohol. Don't clean your piercing with alcohol because you will just make it way worse. Uh, what works for me is salt water. I think it's the best one. Uh, if your piercing turns black, take it out immediately because that means that your tissue is basically dying and it's so dangerous. You can get gangrene and stuff like that. Uh, so just make sure about it. just make sure to take it out. Uh, uh, I think I really don't have any issues if it goes for the smell. I did have that uh, the first few, I believe three weeks uh, but after it healed it fully healed now it's fully healed i had i had it for like i believe um four months or maybe five months but my piercings heal really fast so because some people say they usually take like six months to one year to heal but mine just heal really fast i can i, I just really feel like it's fully healed i can do everything with it i can i even took it out once for the day and i had no issues to put it back in um but there will be a smell uh, in the first few weeks but after your piercing is fully healed um, the smell will disappear and i'm not gonna lie the few like especially the first week sometimes like it, i even got a bit of a nausea a bit of a headache because of the smell so yeah um i never had really any issues with somebody <laughs> calling me a bull even though my zodiac sign is a taurus so <laughs> But I didn't have any issues with that. I did because I have heard on the internet that some people have issues uh, about that. People look at them in a weird, some kind of weird way, or that they will be judged, or that people will call them names. I personally have not experienced that. I never had issues, especially even at my job. I uh, work uh, in a store in a retail. And I had no issues about that. I have no, I never had any single comments, to be honest. And I'm someone that's like heavily pierced. So I don't know. I never, I never had issues with that. So I would not agree that people look at you weirdly and that people will judge you. Maybe if you really have like huge ring, but this one is big as well. And I never had any issues. So yeah. And I have also my Medusa pierced like double nostril and then I, I never heard anything like people maybe i am i'm, I'm just lucky and people uh, around me are just really tolerant so i'm i'm happy with that uh the other thing is um i do uh recommend for you to buy pliers to if you use um piercings with 
like this type of closure, like the clickers, because they are really hard to um, open up. Uh, so if you struggle with getting an up out, I will uh, recommend for you to just buy pliers. Uh, if if it would be possible for you to buy uh, like a, a stainless steel ones, do that because they are easier to um, uh, to clean and to disinfect, uh, to sterilize. Uh, if it's not possible for you to buy a stainless steel ones. You can just use metal ones, but make sure to keep them clean and dry so that you won't get any any issues with them. So yeah. So now I will show you a clip of a few of my jewelry collection. I uh, usually buy my jewelry either out of well, I love to try out new stores because I noticed that there is huge uh, difference in quality with each of every one of these stores. Um, I the most of the jewelry that are in my collection are from uh, AliExpress. Um, I believe let's see, uh, Crazy Factory. Those are two that um, even if you don't live in Netherlands, you will be familiar with. And the other ones are from uh, Piercing Mania and all about piercings. Those are the ones that I buy bought from um, Dutch uh, websites and which I really love and I highly recommend. I, to be honest, I recommend all of them except for uh, this one, uh, which I bought at Claire's. I hope it will focus on it, but I will insert a video of it as well. It's so terrible, like, <laughs> maybe I just have a bad experience with Claire's, but this, this jewelry, this one sucks. I, I have never even worn it, to be honest. I hate it. So the first ring is the one that I bought out of a Crazy Factory, it's made out of stainless steel, it has like this AB crystals, um, I love the design of this one, only uh, my uh, minus point is uh, the fact that it doesn't really feel really comfortable in my nose, um, it's a clicker, I usually prefer segment rings more, um, although it does look really stunning and it, I think it uh, fits my nose really really nicely so I really like this one but it's not the most comfortable to be honest the next ring is uh, the one that I bought of Aliexpress um, it's a segment ring uh, made out of stainless steel um, it's really it feels really comfortable in my nose I really love the design um, I wish it was more that because it has AB crystals as well, I wish they were more vibrant like with the other ones that I bought out of uh, Crazy Factory. But it's really cool ring as well and it was really cheap, so that's a plus. Again, the other one that I bought of AliExpress, uh, it's made out of stainless steel, it has really cute uh, design, it has uh, small crystals on it. I absolutely love how it fits my septum. And another one out of Aliexpress, it's, it's also made out of stainless steel, it's, I bought it from the same Aliexpress seller, I really love it, I love the opalite uh, stones, I really love how it feels in my nose, it's really comfortable and is really easy to insert, <laughs> so I really love this one, it's really cool. And the next one is the one that I bought from All Over Piercings, it's in Dutch website. Uh, this one is made out of um, titanium, it's gold pla plated and I absolutely love this one. This one is one of my favorites, it feels really comfortable. I love the opalite stones, I love that uh, those are actually green opalite stones and I think they suit my skin color a lot and I absolutely love how it fits my nose, it's really comfortable. The next one I bought out of Piercing Mania, again it's a titanium gold plated one, I love how it fits my nose, I love the white opalite stones, it's really cute and I absolutely love this one, it's really comfortable, it feels really good and uncomfortable in my septum. 
the next one I bought out of piercing many as well I only wish it was in segment ring as well because I love the design I don't I don't like I don't really like the bendy ones I wish it was a little bit yeah I wish it was made of yeah it was a segment ring it's also made out of titanium and it's gold plated as well and I like it too <laughs> With the next one, I'm going to show you. I have the same issue as well. It's so hard to like bend it open and then to close it in your septum. I love the design. I wish it was in segment ring. <laughs> This one I bought out of Crazy Factory, it's made out of stainless steel, it has AB crystals, I absolutely love the design, I only wish it was in segment ring because I find that clickers don't really feel comfortable in my septum, it's maybe a little bit too big for me, I can wear it uh, throughout the day but at the end of the day I have to take it out because it, it kind of hurts my septum. This one is the one that I bought out of Claire's. It was supposed to be a stainless steel one, uh, gold plated stainless steel. I paid for it like 11 euros, I believe. Uh, and I absolutely hate this one. I have never even worn it. Uh, it was in my jewelry box for some time and it turned green by itself and the gold uh, color totally rubbed off. So I highly don't recommend this one just just like especially that it was not even this cheap to be honest uh like if you compare these two together this one it was way expensive of course it i paid uh, around 22 euros for it but it's so worth it the design is beautiful it feels comfortable uh the like this one was five euros and you can see like it's still i worn it a few times and the, you can still see the gold color which with with this one yeah it's it's trash it's i'm not gonna lie it's trash don't buy it <laughs> I hope you like my video um i don't know if you noticed throughout the video but this was this is actually a wig which i love i bought it out of uh, aliexpress and soon i will it's kind of a little bit spoiler but i will make a video related to the weeks from Alex or well related it will be video about uh, three week weeks that I bought out of Aliexpress uh, one will be like two will be synthetics ones like the cheaper ones and one will be uh, with lace front also pretty cheap one uh, also synthetic but with a really cool lace front so I can't wait till I will get them. Uh, this one is the first one that arrived and I just couldn't wait to wear it. I love it so much. Spoiler, I love it. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave a like. I would love to make more uh, piercing related videos. I started with the septum because I noticed that uh, even in my daily day-to-day -day life people ask me a lot of questions about my uh, septum ring maybe because it's the first one that you like that cuts your like their eyes uh, i have also my dose pierced obviously my nostrils i would love to uh, put another one in here piercing addiction i have my ears pierced my industrial so if you would love to because i was planning to as my next video to make a video about medusa but if you would love to um see a different one maybe about the tunnels or something else just let me know down in the comments and i hope to see you next time bye